Funkmaster Flex, he played himself. Be honest with you, some of his peers need to let him know. I'm not one of his peers, by the way. I'm just saying. Some of his peers need to let him know. You talking greasy? You the best from the city? You got to prove it to me now. Now you got a wall you got to run through. Kid Capri, I'm calling you out. I want all the smoke. So do what you got to do. Get on your radio station. Tell all your 9 million viewers or listeners that Kid Capri is on your ass. Because that's how it's going to go. Yeah, we still family. I still love you to death. But you need a spanking. You talk too crazy. And you just, you talk too crazy. And I'm going to shut you up. All right? Yeah, me, kid. Let everybody know, the whole music industry, the kid is after you. What you want better for names? You can't use flex no more if you lose. I can't use kid no more if I lose. What about 100,000? You want that? Let's just do it for fun. How about that? Let's go on the, we should have did it at Summer Jam in front of 60,000. You always picking on DJ Clue and all the less ferocious DJs that don't bother you? Come see me. Come see me. I love you. I got love for you. Shit, you play my records. We, we like family. We have conversations, all that. But when you say you're the best of the city, you shitting on me, Red Alert, shitting on Scratch, you shitting on Grandmaster Flash, you shitting on every DJ that come from the city. Let's just say what it is. They're not going to say nothing to you because, you know, I don't know. I'm, I ain't saying they ain't going to say nothing, but a lot of people ain't going to say nothing to you because they scared that you ain't going to look out for them and hook them up. I just told you a minute ago, sometime you had funny. You told me why you texted a funny dude. You know, you know, we supposed to be men, right? And if I give you criticism, you're supposed to be able to take that, right? But you ain't take that like that. So let's play. What's when you get on the... Don't forget... Um, you know, after you talk all your shit, you know, your flunk, funk, flex shit, you know, your slump, flex shit, shit, your dunk, flex shit, your punk, flex shit, you know, all your shit. When you start talking all your shit... Make sure you tell them that no DJ downtown was talking on a microphone to kick a pre it down there. Make sure you tell them that. When you say that you got your style from everybody else, shout to my brother Red Alert, my uncle Red Alert, and the great cool, the great um, Chuck Chill Out. Absolutely. But when you talk, make sure you say that when Kid Capri came downtown from uptown, nobody was talking on the mic to Kid Diddy in the building in the powerhouse. Nobody. And that created a whole career for DJs all over the world. Make sure you tell them that. Let's tell them who the mixtape king was from the beginning to I stopped. Right? Okay, then. When the DJ falls off, you're a strip club DJ, bro. Look at my timeline and all the flyers and all the cities I'm in and the countries I'm in. You, you look at that, all right? You look at that. I'm not chasing no New York City parties like y'all niggas tripping over parties, B. Understand, when I come to New York, it's special. Let's get it right, all right? When I come, I shake shit. Let's get it right. I don't get talked about like I was whack like you do. You suck, nigga. You know you suck. Now you want to take it further? Talk about when you fuck, that this is what it looked like when DJs fell off. My last post was to just show that I'm the reason why you talk on the mic, boy. All right? But you want to talk like that? You can never fuck around with my career, ever. Punk Master Flex. Slump Master Flex. BBN. Jack Frost. What's up, party people? Hey, yo, check this out, man. I try my hardest not to thump the Bible. I, I don't like thumping the Bible. I don't like taking the Bible, wrapping my fingers across it, and saying, look here. But sometimes things happen and it's like, you can't be serious. Okay, so recently, as everybody know, you have Funkmaster Flex. And he's, he's a troll. Let's just keep it a buck. I mean, at this, at this point in his career, no, he, uh, sometimes he just does things. And believe it or not, I, I think it's just for attention. Um... There's things that he do do that I respect and I like. Don't get it confused. I'm not a big Funk Master Flex fan, but I do respect the fact that he plays a lot of New York City and you know, so you know, New York area 
rappers. I respect that. I think he plays some from New Jersey too. I'm not I'm not 100% sure, but I know he plays a lot from New York. And I respect that. And he's still on that boom bap shit for the most part. And I respect that. And he loves talking about how the kids that's coming up nowadays don't respect their elders. And I respect him putting that position out there. Because we do need to respect the old school. And we do need to respect those that came before us. Whether we see things the way that they see it or not. Whether we believe that there's a new way to do things. Whether we believe that there's a more uh, efficient way to do things. We should still respect the ones who, who, who laid the groundwork and paved the way before us. So when I hear this dude is throwing shots... At the DJs that came before him, I'm thinking, what in the hell? Seriously, I mean, come on, man. There's nothing wrong with having a position. There's nothing wrong with having an opinion. But you can't be a hypocrite. You can't be a hypocrite. And for everybody that says, oh, don't, don't judge anyone. No, 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 no. That's not what the Bible says. That's what Tupac said. Tupac said only God can judge me. All right. If you want to know about judging people the appropriate way, you can go right Proverbs 2. I believe Proverbs 2 actually talks about the criteria for judging another human being. Pardon me, that's Romans 2. Yeah, I got a, I have a pocket Bible I carry with me everywhere. I was freaking asleep at the wheel today and I accidentally put it in the wash with my pants. I need a new pocket Bible. Anyway, that's not the point. It's Romans 2, by, by the way. That's not the point. The point is you can't tell anybody about anything that they're doing that you are currently doing. Not that you've done. I mean, you know, if somebody smoke crack. And they decided, you know what? Crack is whack. They stopped smoking crack. There's nothing wrong with them telling the next person, yo, I think you should stop smoking crack. Hey, you know, that's not being a hypocrite. Being a hypocrite is both of y'all sitting there smoking crack together and you busy telling them about all of the ways that they're an idiot because they're smoking crack. That's being a hypocrite. And then, you know, you take your turn. That's what this dude is doing. He's consistently talking about how people don't respect their elders. Isn't that one of the beefs he had with the mumble rappers a while back? Remember a while back he was going at mumble rappers? Isn't that one of the reasons why he was going at mumble rappers, if I'm not confused? I believe that's one of the reasons. Respecting their elders. Respecting the, the groundwork that was lit, paved before they got there. I believe so. I believe mean, he had like some kind of weird beef with somebody over that that I didn't really think made any sense. Although I did kind of think that he was in the right. I just didn't like the, you know, I didn't like the way that he was coming across. But I did kind of think he was in the right. But now, how can you think that he's in the right if he's doing the same thing? How is he talking about Kid Capri? How is he talking about any, any DJ that came before him? You understand what I'm saying? He too old for that. Now, if he's like some young buck doing it, okay, he don't know no better. When 6 9 comes out and he's talking crazy, I mean, you look at him like, oh, well, you know, he doesn't know any better. You give him a couple of years, he'll gain tact. You see, that's, that's the thing about growing older, okay? When you grow older, that's just a physical thing. Your body is aging. But when you grow wiser... Your mind is acquiring information to allow for you to make better decisions. So that's the thing about growing older. A motherfucker could grow older and not grow wiser. Somebody could be 80 something years old and still have the freaking the, 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 the wisdom of a, of a 30 year old. You can't. Say, don't bash those who came before me or before you, you know, talking to some, some young punk 
But then you being the older, wiser veteran, the OG, the person that should know better, then go bash the ones that came before you. Now, that's the first issue I have with the BS. What are you doing? This is the second issue I have with the BS. Kid Capri can go anywhere on the planet where they do hip hop and do hip hop. Does that make sense? Did, did I just make a point there? Because Funkmaster Flex can't. Funkmaster Flex, I don't even think he could go do a show in New Jersey at this point. Is he still, is the, do them, them niggas in Jersey still? And when Jersey got it in, when Jersey be like, you ain't showing up. You ain't showing up. It's not like these other, these other places. Wait, let me just quickly say this. When 6 9 is talking about he going somewhere and people are like, yo, you better not come here. And 6 9 is like, yo, I'm going to show up. They're not really saying like you can't come to the town as much as you can't make money in my town. You understand what I'm saying? I think there should be a distinction. There should be a distinction made. You know what I'm saying? I think that these, these cities need to stop saying, yo, he better not show up in my town. Whatever, whatever. And they should make a distinction. Yo, you could do whatever you want, man, but you ain't making no money down here. You understand what I'm saying? There's a distinction. A distinction needs to be made. Because one is more important than the other. I'm pretty sure Funk Master Flex could go in Jersey. Damn you any way he want. I don't see him. I don't know if he's going out there to make money. I don't know if he's still got beef with them dudes. But the point I'm trying to make is, Kid Capri, he, he, can't, he can not only go to New Jersey... But his name ring bells in Amsterdam. His name, name ring bells in England. His name ring bells in France. His name ring bells. I mean, there's like a ton of other places that his name is probably ringing bells. But you get the point. Kid Capri was the first DJ that I remember having a video for a song on his mixtape. Yo, Kid Capri, yo, let me just break something down for you. You know how dudes drop mixtapes, DJs drop mixtapes? Kid Capri dropped actual albums. You understand what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> y'all don't know how to express this to y'all, man. You know how Jay-Z has an album? Kid Capri, like DJ Khaled. You know how DJ Khaled drops albums? DJ Khaled was the kick. Kid Capri was DJ Khaled before DJ Khaled was DJ Khaled. All right? That's what Kid... You see what DJ Khaled do? That's what Kid Capri did. All right? Pioneered. All right? I, he might have been the first DJ that I know about, at least, having a studio album. He don't rap. He don't sing. He just yells his name a million times and come up with beats and produces the damn thing. That's it. Don't rap, don't sing. But it's a kick of pre-tape. So when Funkmaster Flex comes out of his mouth any which way sideways to this man, it don't make sense. Because, yeah, Funkmaster Flex is a DJ in a prime radio spot in the biggest city or, you know, whatever you want to say on the planet. Don't get that confused. But he's still local. You understand? Yeah. There's a couple of other stations in America that play his his hour or so. Because that station that he's on owns other little stations. Or they, you know, buy the spot or whatever the case might be and play him other places in certain areas. I'm assuming that that happens because it happens for others. If that's not happening for him, that's even worse. Breakfast Club is like that. But the point that I'm trying to make is Kid Capri created a lane that other people, such as DJ Khaled, is now in. What fucking lane... Did Funk Master Flex create? I want to know what y'all guys think about this. Leave the comments down below. 
Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.